I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. He that believeth in me, though he is dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth shall never die. I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand up at the last day upon the earth, whom I shall see for myself, and my eyes shall behold, and not another. We brought nothing into this world, and therefore it is certain that we can carry nothing out. The Lord gives, the Lord taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. We will start our entrance in. Father, I stretch my hands to thee. Father, I stretch my hands to thee. My hands to thee. No other help I know. No. about 
baptism comes, receiving Jesus as a Lord and Savior, and as she takes her final departure out of this world, we remind ourselves of that baptism, of that, bap that water, as we sing, when I survey the wondrous cross. When I survey the water, the
Morning again, everyone. Morning. Something that was said to me to be absent from the body is to be present with God. And for my family, I would like to console you with that, knowing that my grandmother is with her maker and she is at peace. The first reading this morning was Psalm 23, which is the Our Father, which is one of our favorite prayers. So let's bow our heads, please. 
I mean, the Lord is my shepherd, sorry. For the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. Store it, my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I feel no good. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prayest the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointed my head with oil, and my cup ran it over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I was going to do the second reading, because my sister is not here. Second reading is Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes unto the hills, and whence cometh my help. My help coming from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. And he will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil, and shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth. And even forever. Thank you very much. Follow me to sing. When the rule is full of yonder, when the rule is full of yonder, when the Good morning, everyone. Ooh. My name is Paula G. Marshall. For the family, everybody calls me Crystal. God is good. I did it. And I'm complaining. Because he had me. Was one of mom's favorite replies. Gloria Marshallo, my mom, as we famously call her, was a humble, proud, did I say proud? Proud, loving, God-fearing, yet very private person. She was a mother, a sister, grandmother, great-grandmother, aunt, friend, and far family to many. She had a very reserved persona to her. Her integrity mattered most. Mom was an excellent listener. But when she laughed, she filled the room. She had a famous few sayings. Oh, Jesus, hold me, Lord. She had a famous few sayings. I'll keep with me forever. I'm not telling you what to do, but if it was me. She will also comfort us with another saying of, we can endure it for the night, but joy cometh in the morning. Not to mention my personal favorite, on God the rock I stand, no other sinking sand. I know she would be missed by all. 
especially her children, grands and great grands. For the birthdays, the Christmas phone, the birthday and Christmas phone calls, and not forgetting our little envelopes. She had a way of thanking you for very, very small things. And it's not that you did it to get praise, but you did it out of love. But she would still give you thanks. I meant it from her heart. You could feel it. Her loving nature was extended to friends and their families because she would mention and she would ask for them daily. In closing, I have two questions. Have you ever called? Have you ever gotten a call from her? Video chat. But her camera or her background is black. But she sees you perfectly. I got those. And I would ask her, say, Mom, what happened? Your phone not working well? And she would reply, yes, darling. But I don't want to get up to turn off the light. So I'm talking to you out of love. Don't mind you ain't seeing me. I see you good. Or sometimes she would ask for a WhatsApp. And she would tell you, send something for her. Send a picture of your children. And you would send it. But she could never open it. And when you ask, when you call and you ask her, now, Mom, what happened to the picture? Why you didn't open it? She replied, girl, is the phone we're playing smart or no? It's trying to outsmart me. <laughs> right? But all in all, all we have is great memories of her. I love her with all my heart. This woman will be missed. Sleep in eternal rest, my beloved mom, mom until we see her again. Thank you. Praise the Lord. We praise the Lord. We thank God. We thank God for a great message. Hallelujah. A great story of, a, of the life of a woman. Praise the Lord. A, the life of a God-fearing woman. Praise the Lord. And we thank God that his name in everything is glorified. Hallelujah. And today we came to honor to the memories that she was made. And today we come to give the family comfort. Because when we look outside, there is no other comfort more than in Jesus Christ. And the word that I will leave with you is from St. John chapter 14. And I will read a few verses. And it says to let not your heart be troubled. He believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. And if it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again to receive you unto myself, that where I am, there he may be also. Hallelujah. Our beloved mother, our beloved sister, our beloved mama has been called from works unto reward. But it's not how she died, when she died, or why she died. But I am certain, I am confident that she had prepared her soul to meet her Lord. Hallelujah. I would have seen her when I come to church and I would have examined and, and, and noticed how she, she would worship God. She had a different way of worshiping God. Some people might call it crazy. Some people might call it unusual. But she knew where God brought her from. And her worship, her praise, executed and was an example of where God brought her from. Hallelujah. And our beloved sister Gloria Marshall is now occupying her mansion. Hallelujah. She is now occupying her space in eternal life. Never to return until Jesus Christ calls her with that first trumpet. Hallelujah. The Bible says that man is like grass. One day we flourish and another we wither and die. Hallelujah. The day that our beloved Gloria Marshall was born, her death date, her expiry date was already inscribed in the kingdom of God. The Bible says that we are born. Every man is born to die. Hallelujah. Because of our 
disobedience in the Garden of Eden. But it's not how we die when we die. But it is where we spend our long eternity. We cannot do nothing for our beloved mother now. There's no prayer that I could pray that could guarantee her right in the kingdom of God. But I am certain that she prepared her soul. And God called her home. And because he called her home, we now have to be prepared. We now have to walk as she would have walked. We would now have to speak as she would have speak. Glorifying and worshiping God in everything that we do. Hallelujah. He is coming again. And this is our message. We hear it so much times in, in funeral services. And I've preached it in a number of services. But today it is especially for us that are living. It is to remind us that we are dust. That we are nothing. That we brought nothing into this world. And it is certain that we shall carry nothing. But if we are prepared, we shall occupy our mansion. Hallelujah. We shall occupy the place that Christ went and prepared for us. He came and he died and he took on our sin. So that we could become the righteousness of God. Hallelujah. And I pray that as we remember our dear mother. That we will take a few pages out of her book. Out of her life. Out of her journey. Something you would have remembered that she have said to you. A way that she would have impact your life. Remember that. Remember that. Take it and live with it. Don't remember all the pain and all the sadness and all the agony. But remember the joy. Remember the, the, the bliss. Remember life. And she will forever be with you. She will be forever in your heart. Because all she asks and all her wish, I am certain, is that all of her children, all of her grandchildren, all of her great-grand be with her in glory. And I pray that you make the decision now. Receive Jesus as your personal and indwelling Savior. Because what we're looking at the world today, it's so unpredictable. We cannot predict the times. But it is certain that we must die. And it is certain that we prepare our souls to meet our God. All those that are here, I pray that you receive Jesus as your personal Savior. That you accept him as your Lord. And that he will do the changes. He will make the difference that you want in your life. Once you accept him and you say, Lord, I am nothing before you. But I ask that you be my all in all. Hallelujah. I ask that you be my savior. My, 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 my refuge and my strength. Because he said, let not your heart be troubled. Hallelujah. Do not weep too bitterly over happiness. And why she is happy? Because she made her calling and her election show. She accepted Jesus through water baptism. She has re reconciled and, and, and asked for repentance. She would have went on the low ground of sorrow and poured out her complaint. And because of that, she's occupying her mansion. Because of that, you could see the peace in her face as she lie there. You could see the peace. There are some people, they die with peace. You could see the peace. You could see the comfort because she have safe. She have reached safely in the arms of her Savior. So I pray that in this hour of bereavement, that we cry out to God, that his words will comfort us, and it will be a light unto our feet, and a lantern unto our pathway. So this is my words to you, and I pray that as we, we come and we remember and we look on her, look at ourselves in that place, and ask ourselves if we are where, if we should be called now at this moment, where would we spend our long eternity? Hallelujah. And I, as this time we will bring, I will sing blessed assurance. And after that, we will, I will open the field for tributes in no other name but in Jesus almighty name. Please stand as we sing blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, 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 what a...
of glory divine, heir of salvation, heir of salvation. Oh, purchase of God, I am born of the Spirit. Oh, washed in his blood. This is my story. This is This is my song. Praising, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. Story, this is my song. I am praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, perfect submission, perfect delight. Visions of rapture, visions of rapture, now burst on my side. Angels descending, angels descending, oh, bring from above. Oh, and echoes of mercy, whispers of love. This is my story, this is my soul, Lord, praising my Savior. Oh, this is my story. All is at rest. All
보다 선수로 IMS 다니엘마션 아이브가슨 더블로 다니엘마션 오스포드 이도나스 범범 안 yes that's why you talk talk when I meet as m o m o that t o t h e s t r e s t u t I'm f o r half i v e was a s t r e t h a t i n me with your last year. She was s o m e o t h e f i g u r e of all. The her children, the grandchildren, the neighbors, friends, members of her church. And she was a very spiritual woman at that time. Religiously, she will go to church as soon as she comes back to church. Yeah. Sunday, <laughs> she will make sure and find she will go to the church. And then I will see her again until Sunday night. <laughs> I know everybody here, not only because it, it is a person, but this is a show of love and the way that we feel about her. There are times when she would have worked so hard just to ensure her family is happy. That us back here have meals, h o k e bar, sneakers to put on to go to school. She left her and I would get out and she went to America and looked harder. <laughs> she did everything from her heart. Honestly, I don't go to Naras again. It, it is take too much from her. <laughs> and I, I don't even know how much time for her to stand here. What she have to You see, support from everyone. It, it, it is her love for you as a k e e p i n us with this connection. Yes. And I remember as a little child coming up, a n y t i m e she come from America, she come and said, you go down to the airport, and we turn up on our arrival, and by the time you see our bus, we arrive all here, <laughs> straight to mom. And mom, When you leave Trinidad, you go back to America, you start sending that flow back to these guys. Oh. And today, we are sending back to these guys again. Amen. Amen. And just as I used to say at that time, bye mom, love you always. I see you again today. Bye mom, and you'll always be quiet by my heart. That's what I would say at this time. Thanks for everyone at t h i n e Yes, I said, I'm ready for you. Good morning, everybody. Yes. yes. Yeah, we can hear you clearly. Yeah, you clearly. First, give all our praises to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To the family, friends, and loved ones who are there. To everybody who is this b e g i n n i n g going up my queen. I said she's a queen because she has touched so many lives. My mother is such. A caring, loving, awesome person. They have an evil boy in her body. Even at times when we in fights and stuff, you know, she would go up to anybody and say, she wouldn't say what you hit my child for. She always asked what happened. But always go have her children around because she said, I told her better not to fight. She will always be the type of person who will always go out of her way to make sure everybody has something. I remember this as a child growing up. s e e n her coming up the hill, she'll have little packs of chocolate and give it out to the children in the neighborhood. And be running to her like Mother Teresa. The type 
how hard this woman had. She didn't have an evil bone in her body. Every morning, as a child, used to watch her get up and prepare for us before she go out to work. And sometimes I say, Mommy, eating my food. She said, The Lord will provide. Then she will turn again, and before she leave out our house, my mother will fall on her knees and pray. From since I know my mother, till the day she passed, and that's when nephew Daniel said, she always loved the Lord. Her favorite passages of scriptures always been Proverbs 3, 5, and 7, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not that I own understanding. In all our ways, acknowledge him, he will direct your path. She still always put God first in everything you do. And she guarantees you, she said, the devil go free. She always tell us, no matter what, put God first. We never had much, and she always tell us. She said, all you don't steal nothing, bring it in my house, because I go call the police for you. She said, because I don't want no type of problems in my house, I want my house to be peaceful. She always say, at any given time, or they start to do drugs, or they go crazy. She said, I go put you in a crazy house because I are scared of crazy people. I ain't coming to visit you. So she always tell us to put God first no matter what. That woman laying there is the most loving, caring person I ever met in my life. She have a heart of gold. Most of all, I'm going to miss the poor mommy there. It's when we used to wake up every Sunday, uh, Sunday and I'll call you. And we'll pray together. And we always go have a moment. You're always saying one thing. She said, God, I thank you for my son. I thank you for my children. Because no matter what, I believe that I live a good mom. And yes, you did. My sweet angel, you're going on to rest to be with the Lord. I'm going to miss you like crazy. I'm going to miss you because, you know what, just yet, calling you from here, back home, I went see what we were talking FaceTime. And she said, Junior, you know, I'm getting old. I said, Ma, you looking good for your age. You ain't getting old. Why you keep saying that? She said, Junior, go look my face, look my hand. I said, Mommy, leave that alone now. Just say, you're growing sweet. You're still sweet. You're looking like a queen. She said, For real? I said, Yes. You're still a queen. And then she will laugh. But most of all, she always would say, you know what? She said, you know, take care of yourself. Even when I'm going to any job, she tell me, she said, leave them people to God. Leave it to God. Watch the hand it. She even say, you know, call the police or fight or do anything. She said, leave it to God. Put it in him, his hands. Trust in him. Lay it at your Savior's feet. That woman was the most God-fearing woman I know. I thank God for knowing this woman. I am going to be okay. I tell you rest assured before you close the eye and you're in the hospital bed, I said thank you for everything you've done for me. Thank you for bringing me to the United States. You always say, I always make you proud because you never had no problems with me and I never plan to give you no problems until death. But most of all, I just thank you for the things you've done for me and I appreciate you. I love you so much. But now you're going on to be with the Lord. You ain't have to suffer no more, in pain no more. No, you ain't on your wings. Rest assured till we see each other again. I love you so much, mommy. A baby boy will be all right. Because you know what? You show me to trust God. I put God first in everything I do. So I thank you every day for blessing me with you. And most of all, to know God. Rest in peace, my queen. I love you. Thank you. God have a blessed day.
Are there anyone else? No? So at this time we will stand and we will I will offer a word of prayer for the family. And then we will have the Father and God, we bring this bereaved family before you. Lord, we pray that your word will touch them and reach them wheresoever they are, Lord. That your spirit will comfort them as they go through this period of their life, O oh God. That your spirit will awaken and birth a new thing in them, O oh Father. That this death would not be a sorrow, but be of a to you and they will look to you because you are the source of our strength. Hold them in the palm of your hand. Be with them as they go. Strengthen them. Those that feel that they all their hope is gone. Lord, we have a hope that we will see our beloved mama again. That we will see mama in glory once we are prepared and prepare their souls. Prepare their hearts. Touch them. Wheresoever they are spread through and through this world, let your spirit reach them in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare a total transformation, a deliverance, a healing through your son and through your blood, Jesus the Christ. So we give you praise and we give you thanks in no other name but in Jesus' almighty name. How sweet! A name of Jesus in a believer's as in us believer. It's so pro healers wrong it is sorrow is sorrow healers wrong Lord. And drive away our fears and drive away. It makes the wounded spirit holy. It makes the wounded spirit, O oh Lord, in spirit. The trouble breaths and the trouble, the trouble. It is manna to hungry soul. It is manna to the, the hungry soul. hungry. And to the weary rest. And to the their name the rock on which I bear their name the rock on which I belong with uh, my shield and hide place Lord my and hide in uh, and hide in my never failing treasury fail my Never feel we fail in treasury with boundless stores of grace with boundless stores of grace. We praise the Lord. Jesus Junction, we know that it will be at Sawa Public Cemetery. Any other announcements? Oh, sure, no problem. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I want to say, may the Lord be with my sister. Thanks for the precious time we had together. I 
friend of my father when you had to leave to go back home it was kind of sad but I know the things that you have done and you have done so much with so little and and I should thank you for everything that you have done for me from the time I had to know when you as you know as my like my mom is like my mom then and I always say thank you for everything you have done for all of us as the big sister the major of the family and there's so much I want to say I see I look at you this morning laying there with your head tied on and your armor on so I says you have gained your wings mm. and um, May your may path to heaven is already paid. So God takes taking you home and may the ride be smooth. I love you, sis. God bless everybody. Until we see you again. Goodbye. Love you. of the body our interment is at San Juan Public Cemetery in